Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jenna Gomez. Of <laughs> and today I am here with a very, very beautiful friend of mine, Pamela. Hi Fammy. Fammy let me, she allowed me to do what I wanted with her head. <laughs> I was so scared. I was so scared. <laughs> Terrified. But this is what we came out with. I am going to it's so tight. list. <laughs> you know really that one when your when me. your smile goes all the way, when yes. your eyes go all the way back. I just feel like I have a facelift now. <laughs> I'm going to list her Instagram avocados94. Yes, I got it right. Yes, I'm gonna list it down below for you guys so you can check out her pics and so her Wait. Instagram is popping. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> So yes, if you want to see how we did these braids, these fun braids, um, just keep watching. Yes. Yeah? Look at this. Look at this. So I started with a normal pack of expressions. I am cutting it in half only because Pamela's hair is so long naturally that I need the hair to be long enough to cover up her hair. So I'm going to put away the bit, the, there you go, I have two bits. I'm going to put away the part that I'm not going to work with first. And I tie it up like this just so it doesn't fall anywhere and to avoid any tangles and things like that. So um, now I'm going to prepare my hair. I learned this from a Ghanaian lady that did my hair years ago. So first of all, you want to cut off that excess hair that's there. You want to work with a nice trimmed <laughs> surface, if that makes sense, um, because we're going to pull at the hair. The idea behind this is that you pull strand by strand, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm going to pull bit by bit, by bit basically, but I mean, this is still as time consuming as strand by strand, but in my opinion, it's so worth it because the final result is just amazing. The braids have like this really natural look to them. I do not like um, sharp cut ends to my braids, so I prefer this. So yeah, I do this to the whole section of hair. And um, actually you have to do this to everything, really. And I had to just speed this up because yeah, it's really, really long. And once you're done with that, then you have your hair like this, like in a hot mess. You get you the biggest brush you have and you start brushing through. Now, make sure you hold on to the hair at the top. You, you hold it for life, girl. You do not want that hair to shift from side to side. Okay, so you just brush it through, give it a good old brush. Don't get my feet. No, no. Please, girl. Yeah. I'm trying to grow my YouTube career before it starts. <laughs> this hair was longer than I'm used to working with because forgive my son. <laughs> it's longer than I'm used to work. It's longer than I'm used to working with because I usually cut the hair in three, and this I had to cut it in two. But nonetheless, you just brush it. Make sure you brush it thoroughly. You have no knots or anything, no tangles in there. You do lose some hair. But uh, there are people who are able to work with the hair that they've lost, but I'm not, I'm just beginning. So that's just something I'm willing to go through because I really like how the hair ends up. And then once you have that ready, you just do a knot to preserve the hair and um, prevent it from knotting up or falling apart. And that's the difference between a prepared bundle and the not prepared bundle, I guess. I know it looks a bit weird now, but <laughs> give it time. So yeah, then you go and you prepare the rest and yeah. So this is Pamela's natural hair. I know what you're thinking, why is she doing braids? By the way, that's almond oil I'm putting on her hair. Her hair was freshly washed and um, yeah, we're just trying out something different because everyone deserves a chance to try out something different. So why not? So I, I parted her hair in really big squares because she has a lot of hair, otherwise we'd never get out of there. But the idea was to make like really big box braids. And I'm applying gel to the root to make sure I get all the hair and it looks really nice and neat. 
when I'm braiding it. And then I just tied them up because I'm doing the rubber band method with my braids. I think it's easier when you do start braiding the hair. So that's it. That's the whole head. <laughs> and um, now I'm going to get a thick amount of hair. Try to use the same amount every time you braid something similar so that your braids come out uniformly. They come out the same size. And then I loop my hair as you see there because I, I wouldn't be able to describe this to you. But <laughs> that's it. And when I'm braiding, I only wrap the hair that I'm going to wrap around the braid once because I already have the rubber band there and I do not want the beginning of the braid to be way too thick and clumpy. Some people do like that look, but I think for this, uh, for her hair, I just wanted something really simple. Um, yeah, and then I just worked through. Now, the hair that I had at home was brown and Pamela's hair is black. So what I had to do was cover her hair with the brown hair. I push her hair to the back of the brown hair, if that makes any sense, but you will see here. That's me trying to do that right now. So you see, I'll try to push the black behind the brown. Um, the black is still visible at the end, well, especially here with the lighting right on it, but at the end, it, it all just blends in and it just looks really nice actually. So do not be scared if you only have brown hair at home. It works as well. And there you go. Here I'm braiding in real life, just so you guys have an idea of how I braid. And then I'll speed it up in a bit. But for whoever does not know how to braid, then you can kind of see what it is that I'm doing. Okay, never mind. I speed it up. <laughs> but it's just so you have an idea. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. And then you just braid up the whole thing. And uh, forgive my house. I have kids, and they feel the need to leave their stuff everywhere, as they do. I don't know if you guys saw what I just did there, but I just pulled the hair quickly because I think it makes the, it just leaves the hair a little bit more natural like. So once you braid everything up, <laughs> you're all done. Then you just have to kind of clean up the braid. So you cut off the little bits of hair that stick out of the braid. I think there you can see the little bits start sticking out. It's because of the, the added hair. It does that. However, if you're braiding someone's hair and their natural hair is sticking out, please ask them first if you're gonna if you can cut their hair. Don't just up and cut their hair because it doesn't go down well with everyone. Okay, so um, you obviously do this whole cleaning process through your hair. I mean, this is optional. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I just think it, it leaves the hair, it leaves the braids fresh. I like it better when my braids are nice and, and neat. You guys see that bit sticking up there, the, those hairs? Yeah, that's just what I'm trying to clean out. Anyway, then you boil some water. And you put it in whatever pot or pan or you know bowl you have at home just please be careful because the water has to be really hot make sure you wear gloves or something that you can protect yourself so you do not burn your fingers your hands and then you go somewhere where the floor won't be affected by the water I have a laminate flooring so I'm not gonna do this on uh, my living room but you put the whole hair as much as you can into the hot water and you just repeat that process maybe two or three times just this um, releases the, I believe it's wax from the extension hair. Um, and it just makes it, like I said, once more, more natural like. And I did that about two to three times. Then I take a cloth and I also put the cloth in the hot water, let it absorb the heat. Then I um, I take off the water. What, what, do you, what do you call that when you, I squeeze out the water and then I put the cloth onto the head and I leave it there for a couple of minutes or seconds whatever the person can uh, handle and then I take it out it's just to get the hairs that are not able to go into the bowl of water and that's it the hair is complete 
so you guys thank you so much for watching i oh, hope you yeah. enjoyed the process i hope you found it easy if you have any questions just leave the questions down below and i will do my best to answer you as soon as possible um if you end up doing these braids uh, please tag me on your pictures so that I can see on Instagram. Don't Snapchat me. I'm so slow on Snapchat. <laughs> but Insta, Instagram, I'm there all day, every day. 24 okay? hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I ever go missing, just look for me on Instagram. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, share, do everything. Make subscribe. Did you subscribe to my channel yet? Don't be that kind of person. Just do it. Just one tick. Just click on it. Anyway, Pammy, thank you so much for being so amazing. Yeah. Oh and, uh, well, now I'm just going to flaunt what she's working with, all right? Yes, I know. And I'm... keep watching for the hair porn that's about to embrace you. Bye. You don't want light in the dark